Like a lot of people, I think, over the first lockdown I became a bit of a coffee snob. And for Christmas I was bought one of these. And if you haven't seen one of these before, it's an AeroPress coffee maker. You put some coffee grounds in the bottom here, you fill it up with water, push the plunger down, and that plunger forces the water through the grounds, through a paper filter, out of the bottom here, and into your coffee cup. It's a really quick way to make your coffee in the morning. And over the last few mornings, I've realised that no matter how hard I push this plunger down at the top here, my coffee comes out at about the same sort of speed. And that seems a little bit counterintuitive to me, because as far as I can tell, there could be two factors at play here. If I push harder and harder with this plunger, I'm going to be driving the water through at a greater and greater rate. That sort of makes sense. And so I would expect that if I could push with an infinite force on this top plunger, I'd get a coffee in zero time at all. There's also the flip side of that, that actually if I push with a harder and harder force on the top here, I'm compacting the coffee grounds more and more. And as you compact the coffee grounds, their permeability to the water reduces. So perhaps if I push with an infinite force, I compact the coffee grounds till they're completely impermeable and it takes me an infinite amount of time to get a coffee. Now obviously none of those extremes are true, but the reality is actually a perfect balance between the two. So, in actuality, when you press down with this, with an ever-increasing pressure, you are increasing the driving force that you're pushing the water through the grounds with. And, but you're also compacting the grounds more. But because the pressure that you're forcing the water into the coffee grounds with increases, that resists the compaction. And you reach sort of this stable, steady state where there is a maximum flow rate you can get out the bottom here. And if you push a little bit harder, you might increase the driving pressure, but you're also increasing the compaction by an amount that balances that effect. So no matter how hard I push, and no matter how hard I work on my upper body strength, my morning coffee is going to take about the same amount of time to make. And as an applied mathematician, I really love a slightly contrived analogy. And this is perfect for understanding how water goes through soil in flooding. So we all know that when it rains heavily and soil is saturated, you get floods really quickly. And water going through soil is exactly the same as the water going through the coffee grounds here. So if we can understand what the maximum flow rate we can get out of the bottom of soil into aquifers is, we've got a really good understanding of how that soil drains and how flooding can be understood, all from this coffee maker. And also in industrial processes, this is really important to understand. When paper is made, cellulose fibres from wood pulp are mashed up and then squeezed in something that is basically an industrial aeropress. So there's actually more interest in fluid dynamics in this than you might have initially thought.